there, it's Linda here. Thanks for joining me today as I play with these goodies, a couple of stencils from Mudra Craft Stamps and a new product, the Nouveau Expanding Mousse. I was just interested in seeing how it would work and, and what different effects it gave. So I'm having a play with that today. So first of all, using my Lawn Fawn uh, stitched timber die there and just getting that effect on the black background cardstock. And I thought that would look quite striking with the green of the Nouveau Expanding Mousse on the top. This colour is called Bramley Apple. So I'm just getting the uh, lid off, as you can see, I've never used it before. So it really is just showing you firsthand my experiments today with this new product. So I've worked out where I want my little flourish, floral flourish mini stencil to go. And I'm applying my uh, Expanding Mousse. It's quite a thick mousse, so it's not as thin as some of the texture pastes and things that, that we do use. So in the jar it's quite thick, you need to scrape up a reasonable amount, but it spreads really nicely. And I'm just being really careful with my palette knife here that I get it only where I want it and not anywhere else on the edges of the stencil. Once I've got sort of a reasonable consistency of that all over my stencil. I can peel up my painter's tape and see how my image looks. And it's a beautiful stencil. Look how gorgeous that is. I'm just loving these stencils from Mudra. And then this one I am applying heat to straight away before it has dried. It says on the back of the uh, expanding mousse tub that you can uh, the exact words are heating straight away or when dried gives different results. So I did find that today and as I said this is my first time experimenting with this product. So this one I'm heating up straight away and you can see it puffs up a bit like puffy paint and it's a lovely effect actually that it gives you quite a dimensional look there to the paste on your card front. So I love the look of that and once I've applied the heat to each area and got it to puff up, I can put that aside and work on my second card front. This time I'm using a little floral mini six stencil from Mudra and same thing, applying the texture paste all over. My painter's tape not sticking very well there, so just getting that held in place. Applying the expanding mousse again and then I'll be able to peel up the stencil and this time I'm going to let this one sit and completely dry before I apply the heat from my heat tool. And it does give you a different result, which is quite interesting. And I'm sure there'll be other times that I'll uh, have a play with this too and get some different looks on my card. So just wiping off straight away with a baby wipe very important when you're using products like this. And lifting up, I'm just showing you here that it's quite glossy at first, but when you do heat it, that glossiness uh, tends to go. And there's the puffiness of the heated one now. This one has had half an hour to dry and I'm applying the heat tool. And what actually happened to it once the expanding mousse had had a chance to dry, when I applied the heat, it actually came up with little dots, little raised dots. You can just see some of them there coming up on that top flower. Here you'll get a bit of a better look as they come up on these two flowers here. So they're like little raised bumps. And that was an interesting look too. Um, different to the first, but certainly something a little bit unique and certainly gives your card a bit of a different look. It's always great to find different ways to use our stencils. I love these new stencils from Mudra so much. And I'm just giving you a close up look here of all the little dots that you can see. So that fun texture that you get when you allow the mousse to dry first. Now this is black craft foam. I love to add craft foam all over the back of my card fronts to give it that added dimension. So I've got craft foam in every colour of the rainbow rainbow, and using black today on both my cards. And I love this American Crafts glittered cardstock. It's quite thick and I used to have trouble with it in my Big Shot 
But now I have the Gemini Junior. I am loving it. The magnetic plate there, you'll see my uh, mat that goes on the top with a T, so I know it's always the top plate. And just showing you here how those two die cut words are just going to pop straight out. I am in love because that was always such a pain with my big shot <laughs> using this fabulous American Crafts glitter card because it's quite thick and the Gemini Junior cuts through it beautifully. So just adding some of the MFT black and white striped pattern papers there and trying to work out where I'm going to put my little sparkly sentiments and I move them around and change them quite a few times before I decide on the final placement and I've got that sorted now so more adhesive on the back of the craft foam and applying that to my card front which I've kept white just for that contrast and just using my T ruler here to make sure my letters for the word hugs are all going to be lined up nicely I don't know what we did before these little fine tip applicator bottles they really do come in handy and I use a an express it liquid glue that dries uh, with no marks so in case it does ooze out under the sides which it certainly does when I had the word celebrate and it dries clear so there's no marks left on my card front so just the finishing touches now getting my second card sorted with the word celebrate there from MFT love that font so much as you can see a bit of oozing glue there where I moved my sentiment and just some Kaisercraft rhinestones that I've had for a zillion years adding them and along with the rhinestones I'm adding some Ranger enamel accent dots of various sizes and I'm thinking of the points of a triangle here so I add my embellishments as if they're on the points of the triangle to lead the eye across and around the card front. Just sticking that little rhinestone back on there making sure that they're all well and truly adhered. They are fairly old so to make sure that that adhesive is still working. Again on the Celebrate card thinking of the points of the triangle adding those three rhinestones first and then embellishing a little bit further with the enamel dots from Ranger. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed a little look at how the Nouveau Expanding Mousse works and I look forward to seeing you again next time.